And this is Ken Kreitzer for Sons of American Legion Radio. An impressive win by the Iona Gales here at Quinnipiac. A game they had a struggle, but uh, it was good to see a very familiar face back in the lineup for the Iona Gales, that being A.J. English, the superlative guard from Delaware, um, a senior, averaging 25 points a game before he suffered a broken finger, a broken bone in a finger uh, during a practice. Uh, but he was back in the lineup today, gave his teammates uh, a lot of confidence. Um, but uh, an impressive uh, win against a good Quinnipiac team, and the final being 78-66. That brings Iona to 6-6 six and six on the season and 3-0 and oh in the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference. Really a, a tight game uh, into the second half. Uh, we saw Isaiah Williams have a strong game early. He was 7 of 18 shooting and had 18 points, added 8 rebounds. It was a game Iona had 57 rebounds. That, I, I can't remember watching an Iona game in the past uh, 10 years, let's say, where Iona had 57 rebounds. We're going to have to check the record book on when, uh, when the last time the Gales had that big a performance. But um, a lot of that came from Jordan Washington. The junior uh, had 15 rebounds. A.J. English had 10, and Isaiah Williams had 8 in the game. But Jordan uh, Washington, when you watch him, he's got great hands. He's one of those players that if he's near the ball, a loose ball, he gets it. And he was getting offensive rebounds. Uh, uh, he had seven offensive, eight defensive uh, rebounds today. And I remember one instance where he was really competing with four Quinnipiac players to get the basketball, and uh, I think he won that, that matchup. So uh, uh, a game where Iona really had to uh, come back strong in the second half, um, although the Gales were uh, leading 30-27 to 27, uh, at the halftime. Uh, the uh, Bobcats of Quinnipiac came back and took the lead early in the second half. Uh, 40 to 38, and then A.J. English uh, made a move. He really was struggling with his shooting. It was his first game back. He had a wrap on his left hand, uh, but he made sa- three straight shots, a three-pointer, a two-pointer, and an inside uh, the lane put-up shot for two. Seven points, which uh, gave the Gales a 45-41 lead when they needed some offense, and then Jordan Washington went to uh, town. Uh, great play from Aaron Roundtree, where Roundtree was at the top of the of the uh, three-point arc, and he saw Washington open, got the ball straight to him, and Washington put it back for a point. They gave the Gales a 10-point lead at that point, 50 to 40. And then uh, the Gales broke broke it open. They had an eight to nothing stretch midway through the second half, and uh, that got them to uh, 60 to 48. And really, they controlled the game from that point on. But they had to work at it. Uh, instant offense today from uh, Ricky McGill, the freshman, uh, uh, came in, hit four out of five uh, shots, including three of three on three-point shots. So just what you like to see in a young player can come in, make his minutes count. Uh, McGill played just 15 minutes and had 11 points in that stretch. Uh, Kelvin Omeo also was back in, uh, the uh, strong power forward for, for Iona. Uh, didn't score, but um, had an assist in eight minutes, but I'm sure he felt good to get back out on the court coming back uh, from an injury. So um, an impressive performance uh, for Iona. They've lost up here uh, in the recent past. Quinnipiac known as a very good rebounding team. They had 42 as uh as uh, we see on the game, uh, but 57-42 in rebounds for Iona is quite a quite a good performance. Uh, Some we just haven't seen from the Gales. And one of the things we we talked to Coach uh, Tim Clues and and AJ English and Jordan Washington after the game is you add up the performance from the five spot for Iona. Jordan Washington um, played just 21 minutes and had 19 points, 15 rebounds um, in the game. And uh, Taylor Bessick, who started the game, both the started the, the game and the second half, uh, had six rebounds, four points in 14 minutes. So that's quite an impressive combination, 23 points from the five spot and 21 rebounds. We'll take that every day. Uh, so it's, uh, I, I'm kind of interested if Coach Clues will play them together um, at certain points when they really have to uh, get the rebounds and get the inside game going. Uh, we'll see. I mean, uh, okay, we can't we can't uh, 
help saying we're all looking forward to the game against Monmouth uh, later in January. But the Gales have a, a bunch of important games coming up. They'll uh, be home against Niagara uh, on a Monday night. And then uh, it's kind of a homestand for the Gales. So you want to get out and see them. This is a very good team and it's gonna, has a chance to go far. Uh, they play on the 4th, Niagara, Monday night. And then they have Marist on the 9th at home. Excuse me, they have Ryder on the 7th and Marist on the 9th and Monmouth on the 15th. So four straight home games, the fourth being uh, a showdown with Monmouth. Uh, Monmouth, uh, we saw a play up at Army. The uh, Army actually beat them, uh, which was kind of, a, which was an upset. Um, but Army, a uh, very strong uh, shooting team uh, with playing starting five seniors. Um, really gave Monmouth a, a, uh, a very competitive game and ended up uh, defeating, uh, defeating them. So we'll see. It's going to be interesting. Um, good to have A.J. English back. Cedric Kazmer, not yet. We're not sure what his status is yet coming back from a groin injury. But it's sure good to see A.J. English out there for the Gales. One of the best guards. We've seen some good guards at Iona, but he may be the best in recent memory. So uh, he was averaging 25. We saw the night when he had 47. Uh, which really got him some national uh, attention uh, early this year. So I think it's going to take two or three games, but by, by the Monmouth game, certainly, I think he's going to be ready to be at, uh, at 100%. Uh, Isaiah Williams, have to uh, say he had 11 points, uh, 3 of 7 on three-point shots, 4 of 9 overall. And it must be easier for him when everybody's not keying on him to stop his outside shot from the corner. Uh, with A.J. in, A.J. English will always draw a double team uh, and lots of attention on the perimeter. Jihad Proctor, uh, three points on the game. Uh, a, a strong force, a very solid ball handler for uh, a freshman. Played uh, just 13 minutes today, but um, uh, we saw uh, the ball being shared quite a bit. Aaron Roundtree uh, came in had uh, in seven minutes, had a couple of points, but uh, four rebounds. And... Uh, so, uh, in fact, it's got to be one more because I saw Aaron Roundtree uh, get a pass in, inside. So, uh, so the final uh, today uh, for Iona, yeah, looking at the, the wrong sheet, actually. Aaron Roundtree had four points on the game, uh, seven rebounds, and three assists So in 21 minutes. So, uh, impressive win for the Gales, 78-66 over Quinnipiac, and we'll look forward to uh, seeing them play Monday night at the Heinz Center in Nurshell against Niagara and uh, start of a home stand that uh, uh, will lead to uh, a very important game uh, with Monmouth that's going to draw some national attention. Uh, Monmouth wants to beat Iona very, very badly after um, uh, losing to the Gales in the MAC semifinals last year. And we heard that from their coach, uh, King Rice. Colorful guy, good coach, aggressive basketball coach. And uh, so uh, uh, it's going to be interesting uh, the next couple of weeks as we move into 2016. So I hope everyone uh, had a good Christmas, New Year's. Wish everyone a happy New Year. And it should be an exciting couple of months of Iona College basketball. This is Ken Kratzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio.